David. David is an eighth grader learning physics. That's of course the correct answer. But why did David choose it? Can he explain it? The world of the 21st century is technological, scientific, and mathematical, marked by innumerable high-tech innovations and fast changes. In addition to knowledge and understanding of the scientific laws, David will also need to exercise and govern skills like creativity, problem solving, high-order thinking, a sense of criticism, and adaption to changes. In a world like this, memorizing is not enough. Are we preparing David for the 21st century? Are we honing the skills he needs for this new world? How do we equip David with the theoretical knowledge he needs and at the same time teach him how to practice these skills? Let's try this one more time. What if, instead of teaching theory before the experiment, we reversed the order? That is, start with the experiment and deduct the theory from it, just like true scientists do when they investigate a phenomenon. That's what we do in research-based learning. The main thing about this process is that the experiment, the phenomenon, precedes the theory. RBL is the optimal way to convey theoretical knowledge and at the same time practice the skills necessary for the new world. In practice, we are putting the student in the shoes of a researcher. Let us show you how we do it. How do we start the experiment? What would be the simplest thing to do? What are the quantitative parameters? These are interesting questions. Keep on thinking. Great, let's go to work. Is there a mathematical connection between all the parameters? Is there a governing equation? Keep on looking. Wait! The greater the final mass, the lower is the final velocity, but the ratio remains the same. David discovered the following law of nature based only on his measurements. Note that this is the law that one realizes when one does not know the governing laws in advance. David didn't know them, just like scientists who initially investigated these phenomena. Momentum was born in David's head as a consequence of the experiment. Very good, David. Well done.